Hello everybody, this is Bodrich and <laughs> this guy here, the image, that is, um, in Sweden we pronounce his name Cornelis Vresvik. Uh, but he was actually born in the Netherlands uh, a long time ago, uh, 1937. And he's dead now, he, he died in 87, age 50, which is quite young. He lived a hard life. But he was, um, and he was a Swedish. You could, I guess, you could say like a Swedish blues uh, musician. And, and like, I mean Swedish, not not the Dutch, because he he's, he sang in Swedish, and he was very much of a Swedish uh, icon. Uh, like what? what <laughs> he, he's one of those guys, you know. When you think about Swedish giants in in our music culture so to speak uh, this, this guy always co comes to mind and he, he was kind of an incredible guy even it is we know now that he, he most of the music was was uh, borrowed but he, he had a very very uh, distinct uh, style both uh, playing and singing and a, a very good wordsmith also but he had uh, he also had a, a, a lot of troubles with with or troubles I, I guess he, he really liked uh, alcohol and and uh, amphetamines and, and things like that but he also came out when he was on when he sang and in most of the interviews and stuff I've seen with him he, he seems like a kind of a kind of a good guy but um, also with, with a lot of, of uh, swagger I guess here's an image from 67 he, lo he looks like <laughs> Uh, yeah, very drunk actually in that that image. <laughs> that was in his prime in '67, like all leather. He was like, <laughs> he was very much this high high life uh, kind of guy, you know. Even if he was also blues and uh, uh, in a way like working working class hero kind of kind of music but at the same time very much uh, a, a rock star uh, of, of his time and in Sweden I, I'm not sure how how known he is uh, outside Sweden I think he did some uh, songs in English and maybe his uh, people in the Netherlands know who he is I guess uh, but he is extremely well known in Sweden and and loved and it was actually a, a movie was made about him a couple of years ago where <laughs> This guy, uh, Hans Erik Dyvik Husby, which is uh, a Norwegian um, guy. Uh, he was a singer in the band Turbo Negro, and he's also known uh, by, by his alias Hank von Helvete, uh, played Cornelis, which is kind of weird, you know. He's a Norwegian guy, this is a Dutch guy, and in the movie, uh, I think that uh, Hans Erik uh, speaks uh, Swedish. It's super weird. And Cornelis also had he, his way of speaking Swedish. Uh, wh when you heard him speaking, you didn't think that, hey, this guy is Dutch. But he all, at the same time, he, he spoke in a very special way. Uh, but without any accent, except for... It, it's like he had his own accent that didn't sound foreign. But it also <laughs> didn't sound like anyone else. Whatever. What I actually wanted to talk about uh, was, or the reason I found this just this particular picture or image was, uh, I was looking for another image of Cornelis uh, where you can see it's very hard to see on this low res image, but it was the best one I could find. And here you can also see he had had a rough rough time. I don't know where he is here. It looks like Cuba or something. Uh, he's wearing uh, a necklace here, and this necklace is actually quite special because it's an instrument uh, here in this necklace. I, I I'm not sure if you can see this. Uh, and this instrument is an instrument that I know a bit how to play. When I did the military service, I was, uh, I, I, I was, um, my, my service was um, in signal things. I wasn't a spy or anything, but I was like radio operating kind of guy, which meant I had, there were lots 
and lots and lots of hours where I were just guarding a phone, basically, by myself in a small truck in the woods deep in, in Sweden, you know, just sitting there for hours. I had, I had, a, this was a long time ago and, you know, there, even, even today, I guess I couldn't go online or anything. There were no internet connection like that. Uh, and what we had in our truck was, a, we, we had a, had a tape uh, cassette player uh, that we have mounted in the roof. <laughs> and then we had a, a big box of, of cassettes. Uh, and I listened to these cassettes over and over again, like music. And some of them were probably with Cornelis, but, but there were all kinds of music. But sometimes, you know, you just got bored of that as well. And I got myself one of these uh, instruments, which is... In Sweden, it's called Mun Giga. I had no no idea what it was called in, in English, so I, I googled that, and I found or googled that. God damn! I, I I searched online what is the name for for this instrument, Mun Giga, translate to English, and and I thought this is like an old Viking based uh, uh, Swedish instrument, you know. But the, apparently, the name for this instrument is Juice Harp. <laughs> And here is a juice harp, and now sure this is a bit of whatever. I'm not affiliated with Thoman uh, Thoman at all, but um, I went to Thoman uh, uh, like a couple of weeks ago because uh, I found this. I just no, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not even in the menu there. Yeah, Odin 2 synthesizer. I found this because it was uh, like added to AUR. Someone had added this program, which is some kind of a, a, a software synth. It's a, it's a VST plugin that someone have made. So you can use it standalone like this without any DAWs, like a dig digital audio workstation. You can just use this synth. But, and, but I couldn't get any sounds from it. I just, I really, really wanted to get sounds from this synthesizer, but I couldn't get any sounds because I don't have a MIDI keyboard or anything. And then I, then I thought to myself, hey, bud, you should get a MIDI keyboard. Why haven't you never gotten a MIDI keyboard? So I went to Thuman, uh, uh, because I know you can get like anything there. I also searched on, on Swedish eBay kind of things, you know, uh, to see if I could get a good second-hand one, but I actually found found one here on Thuman, but I, I don't really want to make any more unnecessary advertisement here for, for that site. Uh, and it is, in a way, Thuman, it's kind of terrible, you know, because they have uh, um, so many local music stores have closed down due to Thuman, which is a German company. And now they are like, they are the only music store in, in, in Europe, in, in, in many cities. There are, of course, still some music stores, but they, this, this company has eat, eaten up a lot of their business. Uh, and and uh, that, that is something I... It is what it is, you know. Well, it, how, how couldn't it happen, in a way? But it is uh, a shame, just as with music stores and whatever. So in one way, I should support my local, but I don't even have a local music store anymore. I would have to go to the closest city that have one, and, and that in turn is also like a big chain. So I would have to travel really far to get myself a juice harp and a, and a MIDI keyboard. Uh, but I bought this MIDI keyboard. I also bought this juice harp, this one, uh, because it was the cheapest they got. It wasn't that cheap, and it also, this is like uh, made in... in, in what was it? Nepal? Nepal? So it's uh, their variation of this. I, I guess this is a very ancient uh, instrument probably existing in, in many different uh, cultures. Um, and it looks a little bit different than the Swedish ones that I have seen. Um, I do believe I'm not 100% sure here now. I, I'm a bit guessing here, but I, it feels like I have seen like Viking excavation uh, findings of, of this instrument uh, in their belongings and, and stuff like that. And it's often used by these, uh, like, that uh, Bursum uh, kind of stuff, you know, I think he uses uh, uh, this instrument, may or maybe he doesn't, <laughs> maybe he doesn't, you know, but... Uh, it's a cool instrument and I played this. I had one of these when I did my military services uh, 
military service and I played this instrument. I learned to play it while doing that. Spent hours and hours. I, I chipped the tooth uh, uh, doing this, and uh, but I got I got somewhat um, good at it. I guess I I don't know. There are, I haven't really seen any virtuoso on, on this, and I don't know any theory about it at all. And as you can see, it's <laughs> all you can do is put this to your teeth. You put this. It's it's in metal metal, by the way. And then you just flicker this thing. So it's like it's not that much to to get good at, you know. But Whatever, I got it here in my hand now. I have to try this a bit. It's it's a bit awkward. It's it's so it's much smaller than I'm used to. I will practice this a lot more. I, I will keep it here and I will. I, I just know that this was a good thing that I got this uh, juice harp here. I would uh, rather like it to be known as the Viking harp, but whatever. I got it. Uh, so I can highly recommend anyone uh, getting one of these uh, instruments. Uh, and we could start a band. I also got the MIDI keyboard. I haven't unboxed it or unpacked it yet, and I will not. That that would be kind of weird if I made an unboxing video here now, uh, right? Because since I never use a a, a camera <laughs> uh, and plugging that in, but I intend to experiment with that as well here. And I I have no idea what I will do with this. I I don't know. I haven't played. When I was a kid, I played. Uh, I, I took like piano in, in quotation mark I didn't really have a piano I had one of these keyboard things you know uh, lessons but I took that for a couple of years and I kind of know or knew at least how to play and I actually knew how to read notes and stuff uh, I, I did that for, for like three years and from the age 8 to 11 or something like that you know then I picked up the guitar instead uh, so I kind of know, know that as well, but I am not a musician in any ways uh, or in some ways I guess all of us are musicians, you know, <laughs> but uh, uh, I know that I can make it, it will get this working and be able to make some melodies and sounds with this stuff so and the keyboard I got I don't remember which uh, or I got it got the box here, but so, something like MIDI keyboard Let's look it up anyways. I got a, a compact one, I know. Up to 49 keys. Yeah, let's, let's look at that. So it is, I, I wanted one with a lot of knobs and, and you know, things like this. So I can do uh, uh, a... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Juice harp on, on, on a MIDI keyboard stuff, you know. Let's see if I can find the one like that. Yeah, this is good because it hides the prices here whatever I don't even remember it was it was nothing special it wasn't that expensive uh, it wasn't the cheapest it wasn't the most expensive mm, no. ah, whatever you get the idea I got that and I will make sounds and I'm, I would really like to make like a custom intro uh, tune for for the channel Maybe not use it in all videos or but whatever. I'm really looking forward to playing with this. Um, so I will do that <laughs> uh, today. I will do that. Definitely do that. I don't know. Weird video, um, but you know you you oh, consumer consumer buying stuff. I don't. I, this is good. This is consuming this kind of stuff you know that you can use to to create things even completely stupid things like a little tune or whatever that is that is good and you cannot really create synthesizer sounds without a keyboard and stuff like that or 
you can do that with tracker programs and, and you can program your own synth sounds and whatever it is possible without one of these keyboards but uh, I don't regret that purchase I don't regret this juice harp and the juice harp is also that is like uh, very primitive you know I can I can use this even if uh, even if the world uh, falls apart completely and we will not have any electricity computers internet or whatever I can still I can still do this you know also got a capo uh, or how you say it in, in English for the for the guitar I'm not sure isn't it capos yeah one of these uh, this I, I got the cheapest one uh, because I don't think this matters at all uh, so because I many times or it feels like every single time uh, I I do this and it isn't that often that I because I listen to music all the time, you know, and sometimes I find uh, uh, a tune that, hey, I, I would really like to learn to play this. And I start to try to imitate the videos and stuff and it doesn't sound right. Something is weird. And I look up uh, the tabs and, and the chords and stuff. And then it's all, always uh, played with a capo. Well, let's not get into the details what that is. Whatever, you can look it up. Uh, and I never had one of these. I never had one of these in the 20 years I've been playing guitars. I never ever owned a, a, a capo, I believe. Or capo, capo. Capo feels more correct. I, I don't know. In Swedish we say capo. Or the capo, eller? So I got one of those as well. So now I have no excuse for not learning the songs because I would really like to pick up my guitar more of, often and I would actually like to learn to play some songs. Uh, I have been playing guitar, as I mentioned, for, for like 20, 25 years or something. Uh, but I, <laughs> I know like three songs or something and I can barely uh, sing and play them. Uh, but something has happened in my brain. It's been both with this uh, YouTube channel, I guess. You know, I'm typing and talking and stuff like that. Uh, so I have much easier now. I have noticed that when I sit down with the guitar just by myself, I can actually sing and play a little bit or a lot better than I usually used to. I, I was like terrible at it. I couldn't play and sing at the same time. But now it's like I can... Uh, um, my, my vocal... <laughs> part of my brain. I'm able to, to disconnect that from the rest of, of my body in, in, in a more uh, better than I was able to do that before. I'm not saying that I'm good at this in any way. I am still terrible at it, but I can do it and I would actually. Uh, so I should learn a couple of songs, you know, because you should do that. You should be able to sing a couple of songs and play them and play uh, the juice harp and play the guitar. It's like, of course. So and now I got no excuse uh, not learning the songs there. I got the keyboard, I got the juice harp, I, I can play guitar, I can drive a taxi, I can drive a car. I, what is it? I can drive a bus, I can drive a car. I can smoke cigar, I don't remember. <laughs> That's a great song. That's a great song. Have a great day everybody. Bye.